Hey, this is Allison from Mahalo Math. Welcome to our SAT prep series. We're going to be working some problems, and working with me today is Chrissy and Trevor. So let's get started. So let's do problem number 25. Great. We have this little set of numbers, 2, 5, 6, 7, and 10. And it says, how many different pairs of unequal numbers can be chosen from the set so that their sum is greater than 10? And you're, you don't need to consider 5 and 2 would be the same pair as mm. 2 and 5. OK, so what exactly are we looking for here? <laughs> you know, how, many, how many different times you can combine different combinations of these numbers um, and have that equal you know, a number that's greater than 10. So 2 and 5 wouldn't work Yeah, for that. 2 plus 5 is 7. So that pair wouldn't work. And then we know we don't have to check 5 plus 2 because they're saying that's the same, that'd be considered the same pair. So mm -hmm. let's just use 2 for now. And let's just kind of go through them. 2 and 5, no, that won't work, right? What about 2 plus 6? What's, mm -hmm. two, what's 2 plus that's 6? Eight. It's 8, so that's too small. 2 plus 7? Nine. Okay, but what about two plus ten? You got it. Two plus ten is twelve. So that's one pair, right? So we have one pair there. Now let's just start at five. We don't have to go and look at two. We just have to keep moving to the right. So what about five and six? Yes. Yes. Five and seven? Yes. And five and ten? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how many pairs did we get there? Uh, three. And three. then four total. Yes, so we have one from the from two, three from five. Now, what about six? Um, we've already done six with five, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't look at that one. What about six and seven? Mm -hmm. And what about six and ten? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many pairs did we get there? Two. Okay, and then let's look at seven. Now we don't need to go left, right? Because we've already checked seven with two, five, and six. So mm -hmm. seven and ten. Will that one work? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what does that give us total? Because they asked us how many pairs total we could get, right? Yeah, it's seven. Yeah, it's one plus three plus two plus one, which is seven. So it's A. So on a problem like this, this is one of those problems that it's not really that complicated, but can seem very confusing because they're asking about a sum of 10, but what they're really asking about is how many pairs of numbers. And so if you just read the problem a couple of times and then just systematically go through each possibility and keep track of how many you get, it's not really that complicated, but it's a really, really easy problem to get mixed up on because it kind of sounds like it's going a lot of different directions. So give yourself a chance to really read it through a couple of times if you're not sure, and then just step through it a little at a time. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for learning with us today. If you'd like any more information on these topics, click on the links below. And if you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.